Hey friends, so I am removing a cabinet. It used to be where our microwave was, so we're removing the microwave and the upper cabinet and putting in a hood. So this video is showing you how to take this upper cabinet out. Ours is not, you can see there's a line right there. So this is a little separate piece here. Um, uh, to the left of the vent pipe, there was two screws in the studs and then two more in the back. And unfortunately, they put the outlet, they had that over the uh, cupboard too, and not on the wall, so I had to kind of chip out that around there because that would have been holding it in if I tried to remove the cabinet. Also, there was a molding on top, there's part of it, and that ran along the top and that was um, punched through the, um, with, uh, what are those little nails called? Um, I can't think of them, they're little nails though, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so I had to remove the molding also and uh, you can just take a punch and punch those uh, nails in a little further and then remove it I'm trying to uh, salvage it okay so after those screws in the back are removed you open the cabinet next to it and it has uh, three more screws in the side like that and those I have removed and if we go to this other side it's uh, three more screws and as you can see, I have one more remaining. So those are, that's the last I'm gonna be pulling out and hopefully we can uh, remove this bad boy. So uh, let's get to it. All right, so I took out that last screw and I'm gonna try to just remove this thing here. Sorry about that. A little bit of, uh, I think, Rainbow Six Siege rage going on there in the background. So, anyways, my friends, that's how you remove an upper cabinet. Then they're pretty snug, and I'm going to be installing a nice um, vent hood. It's a Z-Line K1, 30-incher. So I'm pretty excited to get that in there. Um, we had a microwave in there, and it just would not suck up the um, air for some reason or the steam or anything you boil a pot of water in there and it would just pour around the vents and it wouldn't even go in there so I don't know because why it wouldn't work because I tested the top I mean it was blowing like a leaf blower out the top but it sure as sure as you're born it wasn't pulling any air through the bottom anyways all right my friends thanks for watching this video how to remove a uh, upper cabinet from the above the area where your microwave is.